Should I buy or sell Amazon? The report for Amazon was first published on our website Monday, March 6, 2023, but this is a more detailed version. Subscribe, hit like and notification bell so you will be first to know when we post a new updated video. Since February 21, 2023, our system ranks Amazon as a sell candidate, giving it a score of minus 3.595. In this period the stock has had a loss of minus 0.88%. This is an average return of minus 0.09% per day since first recommended. In our daily updates for Amazon our last headline reads, Red day on Monday for Amazon stock after losing 1.21%. The Amazon stock price fell by minus 1.21% on the last day, Monday, March 6, 2023, from $94.90 to $93.75. During the last trading day the stock fluctuated 2.99% from a day low at $93.74 to a day high of $96.55. The price has been going up and down for this period and there has been a minus 3.55% loss for the last two weeks. Volume fell on the last day along with the stock, which is actually a good sign as volume should follow the stock. On the last day, the trading volume fell by minus 4 million shares and in total, 51 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $4.79 billion. In the last 52 weeks, the highest price of the stock was $170.83, and the lowest price was $81.43. Right now the price is 45.12%, or $77.08, below 52-week high and 92.82%, or $1,211.45, below all-time high January 15, 2018 where the price hit $1,305.20. The stock lies in the lower part of a very wide and strong rising trend in the short term, and this may normally pose a very good buying opportunity. If the lower trend floor at $92.09 is broken, it will firstly indicate a slower rate of rising, but may also be an early warning for a trend shift. The current three-month trend indicates a possible 12.92% change over the next three months, with a possible return between 10.92% and 41.77%. The 12-month trend it indicates a minus 35.09% change over the next 12 months with a possible return between minus 50.62% and minus 25.21%. This equals a price between $46.29 and $70.11 after a year. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets on Thursday, February 9, 2023 Tigris Financial set price target to 192. On Friday, February 3, 2023 Piper Sandler set price target to 123. On Friday, February 3, 2023 Needham set price target to 120. On Friday, February 3, 2023 Barclays set price target to 150. On Friday, February 3, 2023 Baird set price target to 125. From analysts Amazon stock received a general strong buy rating. The analysts give P.E. ratio a strong buy and price to book a strong buy rating. For the return on investment the analysts give the stock a neutral rating. The following signals have been found for Amazon. There are mixed signals in the stock today. The Amazon stock holds a buy signal from the short-term moving average, at the same time, however, the long-term average holds a general sell signal. Since the long-term average is above the short-term average there is a general sell signal in the stock giving a more negative forecast for the stock. On further gains, the stock will meet resistance from the long-term moving average at $98.14. On a fall, the stock will find some support from the short-term average at $93.49. A breakup through the long-term average will give another buy signal, while a fall below the short-term average will add another sell signal and strengthen the general signal. 
A cell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Thursday, February 2, 2023, and so far it has fallen minus 16.97%. Further fall is indicated until a new bottom pivot has been found. Furthermore, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. Volume fell together with the price during the last trading day and this reduces the overall risk as volume should follow the price movements. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, sell signal. Pivots, sell signal 22 days ago. Bollinger, buy signal 34 days ago. Short-term moving average, buy signal 3 days ago. Long-term moving average, sell signal 11 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. Buy signal 8 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. Short moving average, sell signal 19 days ago. The long-term moving average, sell signal 13 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. Buy signal 8 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk and Stop Loss for Amazon Amazon finds support from accumulated volume at $92.49 and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. This stock has average movements during the day and with good trading volume, the risk is considered to be medium. During the last day, the stock moved $2.81 between high and low, or 2.99%. For the last week, the stock has had daily average volatility of 2.55%. Let us have a look at some fundamental data you should be aware of before we tell you some possible good trading levels for Amazon. The price-to-earnings ratio, P-E ratio, is the ratio for valuing a company that measures its current share price relative to its per-share earnings. Amazon currently has a price-earning ratio of 90.48. A high price-to-earnings ratio could mean that a company's stock is overvalued, or else that investors are expecting high growth rates in the future. Here are some possible good day trading levels. On an upturn, Amazon meets first resistance at $102.11. If you do not hold Amazon shares you should wait for this level to be broken before placing your bet. If you already have the stock this is the level you may want to swing trade. On a downturn Amazon finds first level of support at $92.49 and this is a natural place to put your bet if the support holds with an expectation of a rebounce upwards. The average ratings combined from several analyst sources for Amazon is strong buy. Here are some of the latest insider trades. On March 2, 2023 Bezos Jeffrey P. made an inside sell of 259,746 of common stock, par value 1 cent per share. On March 1, 2023 Harrington Douglas J. made an inside sell of 4,000 of common stock, par value 1 cent per share. On March 1, 2023 Gorlick Jamie S. made an inside sell of 733 of common stock, par value 1 cent per share. On March 1, 2023 Gorlick Jamie S. made an inside sell of 733 of common stock, par value 1 cent per share. On March 1, 2023 Bezos Jeffrey P. made an inside sell of 167,490 of common stock, par value 1 cent per share. Based on the 100 latest insides trades, we have calculated the insider power to be negative at a ratio of minus 87.986. In total, the insiders bought 270,980 and sold 4,666,404 shares in the last 100 trades. We hold a negative evaluation for this stock, no stop loss set. Is Amazon stock a buy? Amazon holds several negative signals and we believe that it will still perform weekly in the next couple of days or weeks. We, therefore, hold a negative evaluation of this stock. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day our systems find that the current price is undervalued. For the trading on Tuesday 7th we expect Amazon to open up 93 cents and start trading at $94.68. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us.
by using the information you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to